morning. You okay? Yep. Okay, guys. Hello. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I know this is much more of a less theatrical opening to a blog episode, but I want to talk about something quite serious today. Um, and I don't necessarily know where to begin. Recently, actually just yesterday, um, I was on the phone, I was talking to one of my friends, and I received a WhatsApp message from a close friend of mine, and he had happened to come across a profile that was created on a popular app. I will not mention the name of the app, however, for those that are in the know, you'll know. Um, and this app in particular, um, you know, is, is, let's say it's Tinder, okay? And somebody has created a profile of me. Now, while I was on the phone with my friend and I received this message, I assumed it was a joke because this particular friend always happens to show me, um, you know, a new app. So he always sends me something with my face on it, like my face on Marilyn Monroe, XYZ, and you know, I laughed it off. I was like, lol, until I read the bio of the profile. Um, guys, I've had, you know, my fair share of bullies and people that don't like the way I dress, don't like the way I speak, and basically don't like the fact that I exist. And that's fine. I'm sure those of you that are watching at home can relate. If you're different or you're out of the norm and you don't kind of bend to convention, people are bound to dislike what you're doing. And that's, you know, that's, that's where we relate. I feel like that's where me and you at home watching relate to each other. Um, but when I read the profile, it was disturbing, it was vulgar, it was <sighs> psychotic and basically created to attack me and just kind of, you know, without sounding full of myself, it was really done to tarnish my reputation. Now, you guys know that I live how I want. I don't make excuses for who I am, and I know how to conduct myself properly. Um, however, this profile was created to purposefully harm me and hurt me and potentially hurt the other people that are in my life. Like, you guys know that earlier on, in the year, um, I had somebody that basically stopped me and showed up at a restaurant that I was dining with uh, my mother at. And, uh, you know, when I saw this profile at first, it was funny until I read the bio. And the bio basically said that I have um, a, a life-threatening disease. And I'm not going to mention what that disease is. For those of you that are watching, I'm pretty sure you can put two and two together. Um, it basically said I have a life-threatening disease and that me and my partner, I'm still wondering who the partner is, however, I will get to that, um, basically engage in <laughs> without safety, without safety precautions. <laughs> and that's that's news to me considering that, um, full disclaimer, like I genuinely have not had that kind of situation ever in my life, nor have I met anybody um, in that way. Um, I think we've touched on this a bit in my channel. I am very much about people's energies and who they are, and I really do not have the time nor the effort to engage with people in any other way outside of that box. Not right now, and not in this place, and it's just not for me. I have so many other things that I need to focus on. That being said, um, the person who created this profile accused um, me of, you know, partaking in these activities with a partner, and they basically utilized a person from one of my recent blog episodes to get their point across and kind of rope somebody else into this and it's completely unnecessary and it is just beyond me how somebody would go to this extent to create this. Now, um, I am aware that, you know, you're, you, for all of you who that are watching at home, you're probably thinking it is the stalker and to be honest, um, I mentioned at the end of the last vlog 
that the stalker and me, you know, we came to a good place or as good as it could get with somebody like that. However, I do know that through a friend of mine that he uh, has been known in the past to create these profiles with the same bio descriptions of what I've said. So the fact that this happened and it happened recently couldn't be a coincidence, but also we haven't had an altercation. So I'm not going to assume it's him, even though I did message him and he denied it. Now, I don't know why somebody who takes the effort to show up at a place that I'm eating at would deny creating this profile. If he really wanted to hurt me, he'd just say, yeah, it's me, deal with it. You can't do anything about it. However, recent, you know, just conversations have led me to believe that it could be somebody else and it could be somebody that I once called a friend, um, which is even harder to digest because I cannot picture that I ever entertained somebody in my life that would create something in this manner to hurt me and to harm me. Um, however, I have also accepted the possibility that you never really, and I have for a while, you never really know people. Sometimes we let people into our lives and we don't know and we hope that they have the best intentions for us, but in truth, that's never the case. You could be surrounded with people that you think love you when in truth, they, they're either, they want something from you or they genuinely are with you for the cloud. Now, again, I need to reiterate, I do not think I'm a celebrity. I really don't think I am anyone other than someone trying to do something that brings other people joy and brings me joy. When I, when I hear the conversations that I have with my friends on this channel, it genuinely makes me laugh and that's what I hope you're taking away from this when you're watching this at home. And I have never had a situation with someone that they would hate me to this extent or try to hurt me in this way. I can 100% tell you right now that there are no receipts that can be pulled up that would make somebody act this way towards me. Of course, my friends are worried for my safety, but again, I think they're just being extreme in that manner at the end of the day. I've been very careful into who I've let into my new place and my new home. Um, and I've taken all the necessary safety precautions to ensure that I am fine. However, I don't know who this person is. And that is kind of a little bit what's scary. But also, I am going to say that these types of people thrive on fear. They thrive on people creating drama or bringing attention to them and talking about them. And I know that a few of my friends asked me to not bring attention to it and not um, highlight it, but that wouldn't be fair to what I'm doing on YouTube. And that wouldn't be fair to this journey that I'm on where I'm sharing so many elements of my life. I can't just share the positive elements. I know that I got a lot of, um, you know, clap back when I did that entire video about <laughs> and I, you know, I, I still stand by that video because that was my experience. And I know that, you know, some people don't agree with me and they think I made that video for drama and that's on them. As for people that are in my life that know that situation, they know what really happened. But moving forward, um, the entire point of this video is to say, if you are active on social media, please be careful. Please do not share where you live and be very careful who you let into your house and be careful with your interactions. Um, again, I'm no one and I, 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 and I say that with a sense of self. When I say I'm no one, I'm not demeaning my efforts and my work. I am purely referring to it in terms of celebritydom or stardom. None of those things come into this equation. At the end of the day, I'm just someone that does YouTube videos and somebody found it amusing to pick on me and create this nasty profile of me. And I really don't want to read what this, what this profile said, but this person is actually responding to people and saying that they are me. So this person is really taking it to the next level. They've linked my Instagram with this account. I've already contacted um, the app to take this account down and it will be taken down. And I know that all of my friends have reported this account and that's more than I could ask for. But the point of today's video is just to say that, you know, no matter what you do, there will be people that dislike you 
All you can do is try to stay true to who you are and be authentic in that endeavor and try to keep moving forward. I personally have not done anything um, to, you know, incite this, this type of reaction. And if somebody dislikes me to such a point where they feel the need to create this kind of disturbing profile about me, then that's on them and that's a reflection of them. And honestly, if you're watching at home and you have created this profile, I genuinely want you to know that I'm not even angry about the fact that you did this, but I hope that you get the help that you need because I know that I personally have not done anything to incite this type of reaction. And I wish you all the best in your life. And I wish that you find a way to love yourself because whatever you're doing is not representative of somebody who genuinely loves themselves. If you feel the need to attack me, if you feel the need to, to write, you know, these heinous things on an online app for no reason, um, I think you need to do the work that is necessary to love yourself. And that's all I can hope for anybody that is watching. And that's all I can hope, you know, for you. And, um, guys, I felt like I needed to address this. Like, there was no way that I wasn't going to address this because this was serious. And this is serious. Until we find out who this person is, I think we will be worried about, you know, not necessarily worried, but... It's just unnecessary, and I'm not going to feed into it any further. Um, but thank you guys for hearing me out, and thank you guys for watching this video and being part of my YouTube journey recently. There have been so many of you that have been commenting and, and engaging with my content, and that's all I can ask for as a small-time content creator. That love is, is it means a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, if you do use the app, please report it. The person is using my real name and it's going to be just, you will instantly notice the account. So please, I beg you, report this account. Um, and if you have any ideas as to who this person is, please, you know my Instagram, drop me a DM, get in touch with me. As for now, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you for watching this episode and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay at home, do your thing.